guys, I'm Ivan Little and today we're reviewing the Schmoen Battlestar Baby. I want to give a massive thank you to Easy Click for sending me this little bad boy free for the purposes of a review. Let's get on with the unboxing. The Battlestar Baby by Schmoen. If I can get it open. Ish. Here you've got your contents, and you see that this is sample only, that's because I'm sampling it. Designed by Schmoant, I imagine this will be warranty information. Warranty card. Use a manual. Here is the system. It's really, it's smaller. This size actually is bigger, slightly wider, slightly taller, and quite a bit thicker than the uh, Drag Nano. With a huge pod, wow, I really didn't expect that. Nice little lever there to help you open it. Rather beastie lanyard. And in the bottom, we have a spare coil for the pod system. It's 72 by 45 by 15 millimeters. It's a massively heavy 78 grams. It's not heavy, it's really light. 750 milliamp power battery. It's got a power output of 10 or 15 watts, depending on what coil you're using. Obviously, if you use 0.6, it's going to fire at 15. If you use 1.2, it's going to fire at 10. Charge is at 5 volt over 0.8 amps. And they got me, it's got USB C charger. 8 second overtime protection, maybe. And it only fires on uh, draw activation as well, with no buttons. It's got short circuit protection. Anti-leak design, it's got the ant chip. Can't see it, because it's in here. And they boast it's got CPR design material. Now basically that means it's got a coating on it that stops it from being a fingerprint magnet, stops it from getting stained by oils and... It's got protective coating basically. If you look here somewhere, you'll see all the different designs it comes in. The resin Quite well really, quite often we resin stickers we don't often match the colour of a device, but this it does. So if you look back here, you'll see it's got black, red, stainless steel, gunmetal, blue and green. Let's get on with my opinions. So there's people like Chainmail that constantly arms me on about pods. It went straight onto the flush and said it was rubbish just because I don't like pods. If you can hear any noises it's because Kev just come in. We're about to do an uh, Expo flavour review. Um, but I think even he's like this. This is the not point at one point two ohm coil. There's two. It comes with not point six, which is pre-installed on the one point two. That's a lot of vapor. This little beast can do direct to quite well, mouth to quite well, high VG, 50-50, whatever you want to do with this device, you can do with it. The biggest downside of this device, guys, is because it has got changeable coils as well, rather than changeable pods. You can also see the pod is quite big. It fits inside, so obviously, as you've seen it. But anyway, the pods are quite big, and we've got changeable coils, and I expected, because small ants target audience is pretty much everyone, so I thought, well, the 1.2 is going to have a smaller airflow pipe, so it'll be more restrictive. 
I think it might be a little bit more restrictive, but not that much. It's still, no matter what coil you're using, doesn't really give it restricted airflow. It ain't got variable airflow and it ain't got variable wattage. But for someone like Kev, this would be ideal in town because it's got, the flavour guys is immense. I mean, I put 70 30 in expecting less flavour. On 1.2, 70 30 juice and the flavour is absolutely immense. It really is. It's good. It's good. Do you want to see some cool? Disconnect the lanyard and you've got a charger. That's right, you've got the normal USB in that side and you've got a USB-C port on that side. Bang your USB port in, plug this into a plug, charges, all done, happy days. And then when you've done, just unplug it, put the sides back together and push it in, making sure both sides are popped in. That's cool. Something I also really like is got a charger. Now, our first thought on that was that's really cool. It can help measure your coils when you're cutting coils, but obviously it's not rebuildable, so that's a little bit nullified. But you still got free tape measure. Stop moaning. Something else I really like. The LED indicators you can usually like you have a little puff. I broke it. <laughs> you have a little puff and the LED indicators firing away shining in someone else's eye not quite literally but this one's got a translucent white plastic over it so when you actually vape it it's pulling in, in the day and in the day and in the night, but it doesn't actually shine, it just glows up a piece of plastic. Which is cool! P -p 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 pod connection! <sighs> when I first got it, it's, it's held in by four magnets, right in the bottom. You probably can't see it because of the light, I, I don't know. But it's held in by four magnets, for all onto the corners. And when I first got it, the quite often in systems like this, the two pins that connect to negative and positive are spring loaded. And the magnets weren't quite as strong as the pins, so it quite often every time you picked it up, you have to push the pod back in. Although the pod never fell out, it would lose connection. But after a day or two, I thought that would be a big issue, but after a day or two, it stopped doing that. So that's good. I've also just realised, because I dropped this a second ago, realised that I don't think this is that much of a good idea. I think it's really cool, but it is also gimmicky. And I would really like to know how durable it is before it breaks. Can you fold it? I play with my lanyards quite a lot. That's why I don't use them. So there you go. I don't really, really know what much more to say. I've spent two weeks writing a written review for it. And it's nine pages long. Excluding the pictures. And I ran out of things to say. So there you go guys, it really is a decent pod system, I like it. If you're looking for your more restrictive type of airflow, it's not for you. If you're looking for something big to suck on like Kev always is. <laughs> then it'll be really good for you because the flavor's amazing, the vape production's quite impressive from such a little device. Um, this is now for giveaway, but, but, like I said at the beginning, easy click 71 and so did somebody else. Whether you are, I don't know, get in touch and I'll bang you some info down below because it's not fair not to give you a shout out. Anywho, that does mean I've got a brand new one, unopened, still got this plastic, plastic coating on. For you to win, you know what to do, comment down below, make sure you're subscribed and that means you're automatically in for a chance of winning if you comment and subscribed. Um, if you don't want to be in for a chance of winning, still comment anyway. Um, but if, if you comment and you don't want to win it, just say on the comment, I don't want to win it. Um, ring the bell, share it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever you want to share it. Thank you, that'd help a lot. Um, so yeah, share it, ring the bell, subscribe, whatever. Good luck for the competition, guys. A week. Today, from wherever it's uploaded, I don't know when I'm uploading it, probably tomorrow. But a week of the day I upload it is when I'll announce the winner. 
I'll comment on the winning comment and I'll also put the winner in the description. Thank you for watching guys and don't forget now, good sirs and ladies, you must always, always stay cloudy!